back to the daily grind and y'all know we gotta talk about this but before we do make sure you hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy cause you know what time it is it's full time MMA no longer under UFC contract, former top-ranked featherweight Cub Swanson has been removed from the UFC's official rankings and may be Bellator bound. Now this is unfortunate, Cub Swanson has always been a fan favorite, and he, if you think about what just played out, he literally could have been fighting Max Holloway for the title in an up and coming pay per view. You gotta think, Cub Swanson was riding a four fight winning streak when he fight, faced Brian Ortega, Brian Ortega ended up submitting Cub Swanson, putting an end to his four fight winning streak, and that was also Cub Swanson's final fight on his contract. If Cub Swanson would have won that fight, he would have been on a five fight winning streak, beat Brian Ortega, we now now, you know, hindsight's 2020. We see that Frankie Edgar got injured and was forced out of his title shot with Max Holloway, which means Cub Swanson would have got that shot that Brian Ortega got. You would have to think. Brian Ortega stepped in for Frankie Edgar. If Cub Swanson would have beat Brian Ortega, he would have been on a five fight winning streak, and he was already talked about for, uh, for fighting Max Holloway for a title shot. So if Cub Swanson would have beat Brian Ortega, he would have potentially been fighting Max Holloway right now for a UFC title. And and instead, he is a free agent and removed from the complete UFC rankings. Now, that's kind of unfortunate because we do know even if he goes to another promotion, he still deserves to be as far as the rankings are concerned in the top five of the or top ten for sure. Top maybe top five of the UFC because he was just there before he was removed. I believe he was ranked number four when he was removed. I might be mistaken. It could have been somewhere around number six. But either way, um, this had nothing to do with Cub Swanson's skills for why he's removed from the UFC rankings and everything to do with the fact that he's a free agent. Now, this is interesting um, as far as him being removed so early because I'm thinking uh, this, this might be very telling. If the UFC was still in negotiations with Cub Swanson, if they were still going back and forth like, hey, we'll give you this much, he's like, yeah, but I want this much. If they were still talking, going back and forth, then they probably wouldn't have removed him from the rankings yet. You know, that's a power play. You know, that's some stuff you do once you realize, okay, we're probably not going to re-sign Cub Swanson because if you re-sign Cub Swanson, he stays in the rankings. If you're still negotiating with Cub Swanson, there's no point in tanking him out the rankings yet. That's going to probably be like, what? You already took me out. The so in my, in, in my estimation, I'm going to assume Cub Swanson and the UFC are not going to come to terms on a new deal and we'll probably see Cub Swanson heading over to Bellator fighting some of the top featherweights over there. I mean, you got the Pitbull brothers over there. I mean, Benson Henderson's doing his thug thizzle. I mean, Bellator is pretty fun over there, man. There's some there's some fights for Cub Swanson, and he's a fan favorite. You know, Bellator likes picking up fan favorites from the UFC. If they if the UFC doesn't want to re-sign him, Bellator seems like they've got an open checkbook, and I'm pretty sure Scott Coker has said that. You know, Viacom gave us the okay. Any of these guys that get let go, we're going after every single big name. We want them all. So Cub Swanson's one of those guys. Uh, that will probably be signing with Bellator and as far as his contract negotiations that's interesting we'll see I mean I'm sure a lot of the people that go to Bellator end up being happy with the pay that they receive and you know they get their sponsors back and stuff like that but at the same time it's not the premier mixed martial arts organization in the world so it's always got that stigma of kind of being the B League so I mean either way it is what it is I'm sure Cubs wants to doing whatever he has to do for his family I believe he just had a new baby recently so you know what I'm saying he's got to make those big business decisions it's not all about just wanting to be the coolest fighter the best fighter in, in the UFC anymore it's about where can I make the most money for me and my family and that might just be Bellator for some of these guys so we'll see what happens but Cub Swanson has been removed from the UFC's official rankings and P.S. I just went to UFC.com because I also saw a headline that said Cain Velasquez was removed from the UFC's rankings. Turns out not only is that true, but also long time coming Ronda Rousey has been moved from the UFC's rankings. She's recently came out and spoke with Ellen and said that she doesn't think she'll be back to MMA. She said it's about as likely as her returning to judo. And she said she doesn't feel like she necessarily has to retire, but she didn't have to retire from judo either. But she's, you know, got a full term deal 
deal with the WWE. So, um, until then, Ronda Rousey had been just sitting around in the UFC rankings. Cain Velasquez, though, is what's really interesting. Ronda Rousey, we get it. She's in the WWE. She's not in the rankings anymore. She could have been taken out sooner, to be honest. But as far as Cain Velasquez, that's pretty interesting. That's almost as interesting as the Cubs Swanson situation because Cain is maybe even more interesting because Cain Velasquez, he, he's been hinting at UFC returns for like the last year or so his teammate Daniel Cormier you know they've hinted at Cain Velasquez's UFC return so that's very interesting if he was going to be returning anytime soon I don't think the UFC would take him out the rankings but maybe when he comes back out again that's interesting he fought at UFC 200 so it's not like he's just completely not fought for four years or whatever the case he fought at UFC 200 it has been a little while but in my opinion estimation is like if you're gearing up for a UFC return we get it former champion coming back but you Cain Velasquez has recently been spotted at a WWE event with the fucking luchadore mask he might be gearing up for a WWE run instead of a UFC return we know his teammate Daniel Cormier has moved up to heavyweight and is challenging for the title so we'll see what this means but uh, wanted to let you guys know not only has Cub Swanson been removed from the UFC rankings but so has Ronda Rousey and Cain Velasquez two bigger names um, but you can kind of see where those are coming from from their inactivity Cub Swanson he's likely just probably going to be going to Bellator as a free agent I don't think that's going to be the case for these two other fighters but hey man that's interesting so now let me know what you think in the comments and as always thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video I'm out da -da 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 -da. it's the motherfucking D -O -double G.